My name is Nick Bragg. Uh, we're farming at Fog Murray Green Farm, South Petherton in Somerset. We've been farming here for 15 years. To be a chicken farmer, it's enjoyable, fun, um, and rewarding and challenging. We care passionately about our chickens, and if we didn't, we wouldn't be in business. We farm uh, Freedom Food chicken. Uh, we've got two sites, this one at Frog Murray. We house 44,000 birds, uh, and another site at Townsend. And that's uh, two houses with 20,000 birds in, with windows letting natural light in. They've got straw bales and also wooden perches and hanging objects. They're placed in the houses really to replicate a natural environment for them to be able to peck and also perch on the straw or the wooden bales. The lighting programme gives them six hours darkness each night. We're replicating the atmosphere outside and ranking the, the lights down over 30 minutes and also it is, is comes on over a 30 minute period for them as well. They come in as day old or as hatched and they stay for 49 days. These birds are 22 days old. They've just lost their down and just beginning to get their full feathers. The heating that we've got for these uh, sheds at Frog Murray, um, uh, heated through hot water system, um, and the hot water is heated by wood chip and then pumped uh, to both, both of the sheds through uh, recirculation units. We're finding it gives a very clean, dry environment for the chicken. These birds are produced for supermarkets and we're producing uh, uh, corn-fed and wheat-fed birds. My role as a farmer is still very important. The technical information that we're given from the uh, control boxes are still very good, but we walk the sheds, checking on the, the ventilation, the environment, feeding, drinking, and the, the well-being and health of the birds. Uh, we come in and walk the, the sheds between five to six times a day, starting with the first check at 6.30 in the morning, and last check would be 10 p.m. The end, end of the day check is quite rewarding coming up here, walking through the birds, seeing their interaction and how they, they play and uh, with one another and it's just a, a way of stress relief really. The open farm visits we do, we've been currently doing for about two years now. We've invited about a thousand school children over the past uh, two years and also young farmers, farmers clubs and uh, ministerial trips as well. Uh, I'm just passionate to, pr to promote um, what we're producing. Uh, the perception of, of most people is, is caution, um, uncertain to what they'll find, um, but the experience we've had so far is, is everyone's been pleasantly surprised, um, and even one comment saying that uh, the environment was better than some houses inside. <laughs> the open days we hold, uh, yes, this is part of the area that, that gets shown and people are most interested in. Some of the environmental features we've got, um, we have the pond, uh, we have margins and we also have uh, newly planted hedges. Uh, since 2002 we've planted 4,000 uh, metres of, of new hedging. In 2007 we decided to um, um, create this area of ponds and also plant the trees. We are passionate about the environment, we want to put something back in uh, to our local environment um, alongside our, our farming business.